Hello and welcome back to RTN Tonight, Glassboro's favorite mid-afternoon late night talk show. I'm Gabriel Furman. And I'm Allison Angeles. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with the news. In China Grove, North Carolina, a man recently found dead was mistaken for a Halloween prop. The unfortunate passing of 34-year-old Robert Owens raises many questions as his family and investigators are wondering how nobody noticed that he was in fact a dead person and not a Halloween decorator or decoration. In fact, a gardener actually mowed a lawn around the body as they thought that his dead body wasn't actually real. We don't yet know how Mr. Owens passed, and I give his family my condolences, but honestly, how did that gardener mess up that bad? According to reporters, his body was actually decomposing at the point that it was, that it was found, which means it was 100% smelly, and there were definitely telltale signs that it wasn't a prop. Seriously, guys, let's lock in and pay attention to our surroundings this Halloween. A clown, and not a friendly looking one, has been caught stalking a Scottish village and leaving residents in fear. This person, wearing a Pennywise style outfit, has allegedly been leaving red balloons around Skelmory in North Ayrshire. Pictures and videos of him posing in the dark streets have been posted, then deleted, on social media, and even a Facebook account for him was created under the name Cold Demos. Luckily, there's nothing to fear. Let's just say he didn't really like the kind of coverage he was giving. They call me a killer clown, he said. Why don't you leave the jokes to me? The only thing dying is your credibility. This clown doesn't want fame, glory, or gold. He just wants to play in this so-called sleepy town, so come and join and learn to fear this Skelmory clown. The only thing killer was that comeback. Keep doing what you do. I sure hope we will all float too. One of the biggest overall stories of this year is the sag after writer strike, as it's put the movie world on hold. But as the spooky season rolls around, the heads of this organization have asked its members to not dress up as Halloween characters from big movie promotions. Essentially asking their members to not celebrate the holiday, they feel that it's best if they stay staunch on their point of taking it to these companies to achieve a fair contract for all actors and writers. Hey, I'm cool with fighting for what you believe in, but man, let the people celebrate the holiday. Many could make the confident argument that Halloween is the best holiday of the year, and honestly, I wouldn't debate them too hard on it. I say get out there, have some fun, on the spookiest day of the year. But honestly, I'm really excited to see what creative alternatives to traditional costumes that actors and other members of SAG-AFTRA will be pulling off this year. In Half Moon Bay, California, a horticulture teacher from Minnesota set the world record for heaviest pumpkin after he grew a giant jack-o'-lantern gourd that weighed a whopping 2,749 pounds. How'd he do this, you may ask? The man, Travis Ginger, has been growing pumpkins for 30 years now, growing pumpkins in a patch in his backyard. He said that this year he decided to give his plants extra care, watering them up to 12 times a day, and feeding and fertilizing them a bit more than usual. That's a true commitment, if you ask me. A spectacular one for sure. Squashing the competition one day at a time, huh? If you're looking for something new to do this Halloween season, you should start paddle boarding. Yes, you heard me right. Now you may be asking yourself, what is this Tom Hanks wannabe telling me to do right now? But hear me out. Across the United States, hundreds of witches scour the waters of their city or state and ride their paddle boards as alternatives for brooms. In Florida, paddlers come from a, for a two-day event on the Enclot River in Tarpon Springs and the Width of the Coochie River in Newport Ritchie. Mand mandering through narrow, busy commercial stretches of the river, past Spanish moss and mangroves and waterfront restaurants. I think it's time for me to run and buy a paddleboard alongside all these witches because this sounds like a whole lot of fun. But in an effort to make it more fun, I feel like we should be allowed to kick people off their boards to see who the most dominant witch is. But that's just my opinion. A 22-year-old man in Poland has now been arrested after he pretended to be a mannequin to stay after hours at a local mall and take himself on a shopping spree when the mall doors closed. This didn't only happen once, though. The first time, he stole from a jewelry stand and got away with it. But this second time, he took money from a register, ate his heart out, and then proceeded to rob himself an outfit to go back to eat some more. Luck ran out the second time around. Unfortunately, he's not as good as running as he is at standing still. To be honest, I don't know what's funnier, him holding a bag and staying still for hours, or that none of the workers notice the only white mannequin with a face in the store. The scary part is that this silly joke might cost him up to 10 years in prison. But hey, man, you definitely won the mannequin challenge. Candy corn. Some people hate it, and I am some people. And some love it, though. 
Matt Hall, a beloved member here at RTN, is actually a huge lover of Candy Corn, and sometimes I question if he's joking or if he's lost the plot. Brax, a leading manufacturer of candy corn, sells upward of 30 million pounds of candy corn every fall season, which is crazy to me because I struggled to believe they could even sell 100 pounds of that terrible candy. I mean, the people over at Brax are so twisted that they had the horrifying idea of releasing a turkey dinner mix of candy corn in 2020. So not only do people have to struggle, deal with the struggles of the pandemic, but also the misfortune of Thanksgiving coming in the form of the most despicable piece of candy ever created. People are not sure how candy corn was created, but it is believed that Wonder Candy Corporation in Philadelphia first produced it in 1888 in collaboration with a long-term employee, George Renninger. It was called simply buttercream with one type named chicken corn. Now that is disgusting and I will forever load the fact that Wonder Candy Corporation never existed. If this came off as a rant on candy corn, well, it is. Because if I spot you snacking on candy corn this Halloween, I might disassociate myself with you all together. A mummified man is going to finally receive a proper burial after being on display at a funeral home in Pennsylvania for 128 years. Quite some time, right? He was arrested for pickpocketing and that of kidney failure back in 1895. He was accidentally mummified by an undertaker who was experimenting with new embalming techniques. And to showcase his experimental technique of embalming, Almond's Funeral Home in Reading, Pennsylvania has had him on display. In a suit with a bow tie, Stoneman Willie was displayed in a coffin with a red sash across his chest. He's also looking pretty sharp. His teeth and his hair are intact, and his skin has taken a leathery look. To me, as dapper as he can look, despite the time that passed, it still seems pretty haunting to look at. All people deserve to rest. And although I love a good spotlight, I think this mummy needs some privacy now. So let's wrap it up. We're gonna take a quick break, and then we'll come back with a Halloween surprise. My name is Gabriel Furman, back on RTN tonight, and today I have an interviewee. What's your name? Hello, my name is Chris, but uh, the character I'm cosplaying is Hanji Zhou from Attack on Titan. Nice, Chris, and what do you do here at RTN tonight, you lovely man? Uh, what I do, or my position is I am a camera operator, uh, and it focuses on you, of course. Lovely. It is very fun. Uh, I also do some events outside. I did uh, some filming at Nerd Street. Really fun. Had a good time. Was a blast. Chris, what is your favorite TV show of all time? Animes don't count. This is difficult because this is one of my favorite shows. But if I had to choose, it would either be South Park or regular show. I love those shows. Chris, what's your favorite sport right now? And if you have one, who's your favorite athlete right now? Uh, I don't have a favorite sport, but if I had to choose one, I grew up in a football household. So um, I was really happy that uh, Messi won. So, I mean, taking dubs, got to love it. Uh, and that's the sport I like. Now, Chris, I'm going to ask you a very difficult question. This is going to be a very difficult question for Chris. Who's your favorite member of RTN? No comment. I'm going to need you to comment, Chris. Why? Because I said so. But that's bias. I'm not asking you to say me. You could say Ricky Conway. You could say Allison Angel. You could say anyone, honestly. I don't care. Uh, that's a difficult question. I like everybody I work with here and everybody that's in the club. So, yeah. Okay, Chris. Okay. Chris. <laughs> I'm going to send it over to Allison Angeles with another interviewee. We'll be back very soon. Hey, guys. Allison Angeles here, and we're back with another guest. So here I have, um, I'm sorry, what's your name? Jake Shapiro. Awesome. I'm here with Jake tonight, guys. So, Jake, um, tell me a little bit about yourself, you know? Uh, I'm a first-year Rowan student, and I work at RTN as a PA, doing a little bit here and there. I'm jack of all trades, if you'd like to call it that I like that I like that so Jake question this is a hard one 
Is a hot dog a sandwich? It's in between two pieces of bread, so I'd have to go with yeah. Interesting. How many holes in a straw? One. Okay, okay. I like that answer. Um, is water wet? Only when you touch it. <laughs> awesome answers here tonight. I like this guy right here. So tell me a little bit more. So how are you dressed today? Who are we repping? I am Mermaid Man, and my roommate is back home as Barnacle Boy sleeping. Oh, I love that. I love that for you guys. So um, why are you here today? Because I just love Halloween. Who doesn't? Am I right? All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap it up a little bit because my co-host needs to spotlight for a little. So I'm going to send it back to Gabe now. <laughs> Bye. I'm Gabriel Furman. Back on RTN tonight. Thank you, Allison Angeles, for passing it over to me. What a what a co-host. What are your thoughts on Allison Angeles? She's really nice in, in one of my film classes. Yeah, I heard about a midterm today. But anyway. But anyway, but anyway. What's your name? I'm Cece. What do you do here, Cece? I'm camera op too. What's your favorite movie of all time? Um I like I like Quicker. Oh. I like the Avengers movies. What do you dress as? I'm Death from Puss in Boots, the last one. Um, what do you want, Ricky? Anyway. Huh. I'm, running, I'm, I'm running a blank here, guys. This is not good. Um, what's your favorite food? Uh, probably fried rice. With what, though? Just fried rice? Like chicken, fr chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice from where? <laughs> Homemade chicken fried rice. No P.F. Chang's, uh, just straight from home? Yep. Only from home? Yep. <laughs> P.F. Chang's is pretty great. Why don't you go to P.F. Chang's? I have. It's pretty good. General. Out of 10? <laughs> Nine out of 10. What's your favorite thing to get at P.F. Chang's? Um, I like the General Tso's chicken. Okay, guys, I was told that was my last question, and we're running low on time, so we'll be exiting. Thank you for joining us at, oh, wait. Hey, guys, Allison Angeles here, ready to serve. So we're here with... What's up? Name's Frat Flash, Frash for short. <laughs> I like that. So why are you here today, Frash? You know, I'm just like, I'm like fast or whatever, and it's like, so I just... just Figured I'd run by. I like that. So where have you been? I'm sure like a fast guy like you goes places, right? So where do you go? What's your spot? Uh, I like the Grand Canyon. It's uh, it's pretty, you know, lengthy. I actually just ran there. That's uh, pretty cool. Okay, Fresh. So favorite food? <coughs> Taco Bell. Can you tell us why? Because America runs on Duncan. Great answer. I love that. So what do you do in your free time, Fresh? I run. You know what? I should have probably expected that. But you know what? I like that answer. So, hmm. Let's see, what do I want to know? How old are you, Frash? <clears throat> uh, for legal purposes, 24. Legal purposes? Are you engaging in illegal activities? <clears throat> Cut the cameras. Oh, it seems we're actually running kind of short on time. Um, do I hear some knocking? Is there some knocking? Is there some knocking right now? Oh, wait, my guest just left. Oh, sorry, guys. So we're just, I guess our guest had some prior inconveniences that, um, I don't know, he just had to go. Have a great night. See you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.
Thank you for joining us at RTN tonight. I'm Gabriel Furman. I'm Allison Angeles. Good night, Glassboro, and, and happy, happy Halloween. Halloween.